Hello wrestling fans and welcome to Gravelinie for another night of sensational grappling. My name is Auric Williams and I'm going to bring to you four sensational bouts from the north of France, from Gravelinie. Into the ring comes the British ambassador himself. There he is, seen many, many times here on Eurosport, Tony St. Clair. And here comes his opponent. Here comes his opponent, Bruce Mastino, 25 stones of him. Listen up here, Tony St. Clair. I hope you see when I did Eddie Steinblock. I will do the same thing to you right here in this ring when I give you the Mastino Crunch and break your back! Well, there we are. Big words from a big man. A big American with a big mouth as usual. <laughs> Referee Chico Roberts checking both men over. So, Mastino, 185 kilos, you think you're going to beat me tonight like you did Steinblock? No way. That's the British ambassador. Big words from him. It's going to be action all the way, that is for sure. St. Clair, the smaller of the two men, standing at six foot three and a half and weighing 18 stone. Against Bruce Mastino of the USA, weighing in at 25 stone. Sinclair thrown off easily by the much heavier man. A very experienced referee from Abigail in North Wales, Chico Roberts. Good clothesline by Mastino. Sinclair has been a wrestler for some 20 years, but I must say I've never seen him in better condition than he is for this bout. He's trained long and hard for this, what he calls his Dunkirk. Gravelinia is 10 miles from the famous northern port of Dunkirk. And we all know what happened to the British boys at Dunkirk. Let's hope it doesn't happen to St. Clair here at the Grivlinia tonight. Mastino misses with a dropped elbow. And St. Clair's in business. If you look at Mastino very, very closely, you might think that you might recognize him. But... I don't think you do. It's the first time we've seen him on Eurosport. It's the first time he's been to Europe. But he has a twin brother. PN News of the WCW. PN News is Brewster Mastino's older brother. And they are really look alike. PN News, as we know, is a mean machine, and I'm sure Mustino, first time for me to see him, is the same. Straight arm lever by the American. And 
This giant American is using his weight to its best advantage. Blocked by St. Clair, and in goes Mastino. Well, St. Clair is truly an international wrestler. He has grappled with the best wrestlers in the world. He has defeated Japanese, European and American wrestlers. And my money is on him to defeat Mastino tonight. Mastino, 23 years of age, against Sinclair's 38. He's been a pro wrestler for a long while and he's not called a British ambassador for nothing. But right now he's in trouble. The giant American has got him in an enormous bear hug. The pain is showing on St. Clair's face. Trying to break this vice-like grip. And straight back into it. St. Clair, superbly built for a wrestler, is dedicated. Trains in the gymnasium in Rill for two hours every day when he's there. And it comes in with a good clothesline, but he doesn't get it all his own way. This Mastino knows his way around. St. Clair runs straight into one of Mastino's clotheslines. Terrific bite backdrop by the American. Well, my predictions of a victory for Sinclair look like going wrong. One, two, three, four, three. But it's early days yet. And a huge right hand from Mastino, and Sinclair is spending most of his time on the canvas. Ooh. And St. Clair saw he was waiting for a, a backdrop and he kicked him right in the stomach. That really hurt Mastino and he's staggering all over the place. Mastino doesn't know what day of the week it is and a tremendous clothesline there for St. Clair. And the British Bulldog is back in business. Proving once again that he is one of the best wrestlers, not in Europe, not in Britain, but in the whole entire world. He is not called the European Hulk Hogan for nothing. A good elbow from Tony, and up he goes. One. Two, three, four, and St. Clair hammers the blows in. But Mastino carries him away as if he was totally ineffectual. This is really a strong animal of a man. From Missouri in America. Going for a suplex, changes in mind, and post St. Clair and follows him in. And that really hurt Tony St. Clair. 23 years of age, he's given a good account of himself here against one of the best and most experienced wrestlers in Europe today. On his first tour of Europe. What a sensational suplex there. And St. Clair will know he's been in a fight when he wakes up tomorrow morning. St. Clair, his eyes look glazed. Blocks a throw out of the ring. Can't stop that one. Oh, and a side suplex, a terrific crunch on St. Clair's ribs. ribs. This time he had no option, out he goes, and Mastino is following him. Well, St. Clair must think it's his Dunkirk. He's out there and he won't know much what's happening. 
Costino slams him onto the concrete floor. Oh, but misses with a clothesline and hits the corner post. St. Clair saw him coming, he foxed him. He thought he was home and dry, did Mustino. But the British boy knew better. And Mustino looks to have injured himself. St. Clair working on the damaged shoulder. As I said earlier, he's a terrifically experienced wrestler, is Tony. Straight away he saw the injury, he started working on it. Mastino slams him, but looks to be in tremendous pain himself. Rushing right-handers to the head from Mustino. But again, he misses, he misses. And St. Clair goes for the... For, yes, yes, he's got it. St. Clair has gone for the submission and he's got it. You don't make mistakes like that against Tony St. Clair. You'll get punished for it. What a terrific victory for the British boy. A credit to Wales, a credit to England, a credit to Britain. There he is, the British ambassador, Tony St. Clair. What a tremendous wrestler. Well, you people living in Scotland, Tony St. Clair is coming your way this week. He's coming to Peebles, he's coming to Forfa, he's coming to East Kilbride, he's coming to Haddington. Be there to see the British ambassador. There's no better wrestler in Europe. What a terrific victory. Well done, Tony St. Clair.